the way we will I will uh, automate this is that in the name of the file okay the name of the file will be the title for the portrait that's how I do it basically then and uh, so and the name of the file will need to be uh, written in this format uh, something like this for example um, path right this is the path this is the path right path path and then name of the file name of the file.png and this is what will be used for the title okay so something like i will need to get this text okay copy it and then i will need to remove the underscores and put uh by empty strings okay that's what i need to do and that's what i will use for the title of the of the text great um but i have a problem i have a problem that is that in the um, first node that data comes in the property of path you see but in the second node that property comes in the So that that data comes in the property of name so they are structurally di structurally different that forces me why do i make it this complicated at this point well because i wanted to do uh, to introduce concepts and new things uh, along with uh, complicated scenarios or flexible at the end of the day is more complicated but adapts better to the reality of a company right so how can we manage two options or several there is an option if we need to, to manage two options we will use an if if we needed to use several options we would use the switch okay they are very similar in nature very very similar and let's start with the easiest which is the if if as the, you can imagine it's like uh, when you write if you do this then uh, if you are like this then do this if else do that something like that like the but um, yeah two options according to some uh, parameter so i will connect these two nodes right and this if will do okay if the there is a string okay look at the data and remember eh, if you don't know if you have no idea what is a what um what uh, boolean date number or string are please go to the annex and watch the javascript video but basically boolean is true or false data date or time you know date or time number or strings remember that na10 it's based on javascript okay so we, will, we need to compare a string right and um or perhaps i can also do a boolean if value one no it's not a boolean um yeah if value one which is path if path look at how i did it eh? i dragged it you saw i dragged it and now i will show you something i didn't show you before which is an alternative way to find this which is clicking cl if you click here you'll go to this screen which is like a more advanced screen where you can create more complex uh, expressions we will do this later but for example here here we have like the um, the whole object that any 10 it's processing the whole object we are in the current we when we are in a in a node we only see the the current tree the cur the previous node okay but if we want to see the whole thing uh, not here but more in another format we should click in this button and we will come here and for example if i want to select the path i click here and what i like from this is that you get here the result of what you would get so you can and we can do more things here but we will see it uh, later at the end of the day the result for now is more or less the same just remember that this is a more advanced and more uh, gives more options for now just remember that operation contains not contains contains no if it's not empty if it's not empty because the other the other object does not have any property called path 
I was checking before for you <laughs> and there was no op property called path. So if it's, um, if it's, uh, uh, it will, uh, if we execute, execute this node, this will look at this on the right. True, false. It was checking the previous event and the result was true. And in the false branch, uh, return nothing. If I now, um, if I now delete this connection, okay, for a moment, I'll rec re recreate it later, and I execute now the node, I will get only the data from the Google Drive trigger and look at this. Now, instead of going through the true branch, it went through the false branch, okay? So now we have some way, I will connect it again, to create the two scenarios, true and false, okay? Because we will need to treat, to get that data on a different manner, differently, right? But for now, just remember, true, uh, when, uh, if uh, it's useful to handle two different scenarios. If we want to handle more, we have another one called switch that behaves very similarly.